on, baby. Show it to me one more time. Can't you wait? We're almost in Mexico. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, one more time. Beautiful. That's what you used to say about me. Oh, you still are, baby. But 500,000 bucks comes in a close second. Mwah. You didn't tell anybody about this, did you? Of course not. Then we've got trouble. Big trouble. There's somebody following us. Who is that? Nobody knows about this money except you, me, and Xavier. You worked for Xavier since you were a kid. He wouldn't do this. You don't know Xavier. Look out, look out! Ah! Take the wheel! Take the wheel! Got something for me? Yeah. I've got something for you.
Mike Scarvo, you've served five years in this institution. It's the recommendation of this board that you be released. Thank you, sir. But just a word of caution. Your parole officer, Mr. Hopper, is going to be keeping a close watch on you. Any mistakes, you're going to be back in here for a very long time. Frank, we know better than this. You're going to screw up, and screw up big. And when you do, you're going to be in here for life. And I'll bet you even money that you'll be back here within three months. No, sir. No, sir, I'm, I'm going to do my best. See that you do, Mr. Scarvo. See that you do. Joey? My boy, Frankie. It's been a long time, buddy. Five years. Five long years, Joey. Yeah, but you look good. Don't you look good, Chess? Yeah, he looks real good. So what, are you gonna stay down here on the road all day? Come on, get in the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, are you kidding me? Get in the front seat with me. Come on, we got some catching up to do. You got it. Hey, Frank, I want you to know everybody appreciates what you did. That comes right from the top, from Xavier himself. Well, it's good to know Xavier hasn't forgotten me. Forget about Frank Scarvo? No way. No fucking way, man. Everybody knows what you did, Frank. I mean, if it wasn't for you, we could be in that prison right next to you. Xavier knows that. You kept your mouth shut. You did a real stand-up job for all of us. Yeah, well, you know, Joey, it wasn't staying in that shithole for five years or losing the money. It was watching Leslie being killed right in front of my eyes. That hurt, man. And that was a shame, Frank. What can I say? That was a shame. You know, when I was on the inside, I heard a lot of talk. Some of the guys tried to convince me that uh, you guys and Xavier set me up. Yeah, but you didn't believe that shit, did you, Frank? Because you kept quiet this whole time. You didn't say a fucking word. Am I right, Chess? That's right. I mean, you know, Xavier and you had a deal. You do one last big job, that's it. You get your cut of the money, pew, you're gone, out of the country. Simple, huh? Yeah, well, I'm not pointing any fingers, Joy. It's just something to think about, that's all. Yeah, well, don't think too hard, Frank, okay? You have five years for thinking. Now, it's time for a little party. Is that where we're going, Joy? To a party? You got it, Frank. Yeah, it's party time. <laughs> have a little welcome home party. A little party for a stand-up guy who don't ride out his pals. I wouldn't ride anybody out, Joy. That's not my style. Yeah? So tell me, Frank, what is your style? Just to wait until I got on the outside, and then to look in the eyes of the prick that set me up and let him know that this is the last face he will ever see. Oh, looks like we're here. Be careful, Chess. What'd I tell you? Don't mess up the car. We'll take him in the woods, we'll do him there. Good, Joy. It's nice to see where everyone stands. All that talk I heard on the inside, I guess I should have listened, huh? Yeah? Yeah, maybe you should have stayed in the inside. Look, Xavier doesn't like anybody walking around with too much information, okay? So get out of the fucking car! 
So, was this Xavier's idea? Hey, smart guy. What do you fucking think? You know, I could be on witness protection if I would made a deal with the feds. I could have saved my own ass. I could have sent you all away. But I didn't. I'll look at it this way, Frank. Just the fact you have so much shit in Xavier that the feds want to talk to you. That should tell you something. Oh, imagine that. You get any idea now, Frank? So who's the other grave for? Hey, that information's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know shit. Yeah, well, tell me this. Did you set me up, Joy? Did you order that ambush? We just keep coming back to this, don't we, Frank? Well, I suppose I owe you an answer, since it's the last thing I'm ever gonna tell you. Yeah, it was me. I do what Xavier tells me to. Save room in hell for Xavier. He'll be right behind you. It's awful hot in there, man. I thought I was gonna roast. Who in the hell are you? I'm the guy that's supposed to have a couple of bullets in his head right now, but it didn't quite work out that way. You're not gonna kill me? Not unless you give me a reason. <sighs> Whoever you are, you're okay with me, mister. I'm not looking for no trouble. So, do you work for Xavier, too? No, I don't work for Xavier. To kill that son of a bitch. He's got my daughter. That's what those punks were trying to kill me. Now he's holding her hostage in his house. Summer, I... Oh. There you are. How could it be anywhere else? You never let me go anywhere. Well, you know that's just for your own good. According to you. Well, look. You, you, you have the best of champagne, you have the finest of clothes. Me? <laughs> what more could you need? I need to get away from you. You know what I would do if one of my men talked to me like that? Kill him. My father, said it might come in handy with assholes like you. Well, is it unfortunate that you won't be seeing him anymore? What are you talking about? He threatened to go to the police. He didn't agree with this little arrangement we have here. We don't have an arrangement. You kidnapped me. I prefer to think of you as my guest. If you've done something to him. Really now? What could I possibly have done? You know what I mean. 
Well, perhaps we'll talk later when you feel more accommodating. Got to get her back, Frank. I told you, when I'm through with Xavier, you can get her out of there. He's not going to have much to say about it when I blow his head off. But you can't just run in that place. Guns blazing. Summer could get killed. I know what I'm doing. If she's still alive, I'll get her out of there. All the same, I'm going in there with you. Oh, no, you're not. Just because you got the best of those two punks, you think you're invincible? Xavier is not going to be quite that easy. There's only one way to go against a man like him. And what's that? That's to have nothing to lose, not care if you live or die. That's crazy. But then he has nothing to use against me. Understand? Is our, uh... Is our friend still meeting us at 8 o'clock on Friday? He'll be there at 8 sharp. He'll have a suitcase with half a million cash. What's the usual? Premium cut. He's gonna be real happy. Yes, but you see, I have a small problem. I have another customer that's willing to pay $700,000 for the same merchandise. What am I supposed to do? Kill the deal on Friday? No, no, not at all. We'll meet the gentleman as planned. We'll consummate the deal, and then, uh... I'm afraid he's going to meet with a very unfortunate accident on the way home. Hey, man, here comes Joe and Chaz, right on schedule. Shame about Frank, boys. Blind loyalty usually deserves a reward, but well, regrettably, sooner or later he'd have found out everything. God damn, son of a bitch! See you, Frank. It's been a long time. You know, it's funny. That's the same thing Joey said before he tried to kill me. I, well, I mean, you know Joey, huh? I mean, uh, he never did have a very good head on his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, well, right now that head's got a couple of big holes in it. Maybe I ought to put one through yours, too, huh? Well, aren't you going to invite me in? I mean, I've been away for five years. I'd like to see what you've done with the place. Mikasa Sukasa. Let's uh, go down to the den, Frank, where we can talk. Would uh would you like something from the bar? Sorry, I'm a little particular who I drink with. Get over there. Back Get back. Ah, 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 ah. Huh? Not really, Frank. Is that necessary? Well, so come on. Uh, how can we clear up this little misunderstanding? You think it's that easy, at Xavier? You think you can just snap your fingers and I can have back those five years? And how about Leslie? Can you bring her back too, huh? Can you? Oh, come on now, don't talk nonsense. I'm not a magician, I'm a businessman. Now let's not talk nonsense. 
You used to be a pretty good businessman yourself. We made a good team. We could do it again. So you want to be partners, huh? You know, before I killed Joey, he admitted that he set me up. He said he was following your orders. No comment? I didn't think so. So tell me, would you be so nice to me if I didn't have this? Well, put the gun down, Frank. Let me prove myself to you. You know, there is something you can do for me. You know that little score we were in on together? The one that I went away for five years? While everybody else went away rich? What? What? what, what is, is that all you want is money? I'd like to have my part back. That would be a good start. Well, Frank, I always intended on paying you. You know that. A and with interest. <sighs> Just that simple. That simple. Well, hell, since you're in such an accommodating mood, I understand there's a young lady here, a girl named Summer. Where do I know you from, asshole? Anyway, this girl, she's coming with me. And uh, how did you find out about her? Oh, it's funny, the things you can learn snooping around inside car trunks. I see. You had a little conversation with our old friend, Ned. Well, according to Ned, you've got a strange way of showing friendship. But then again, maybe you lock all your friends up in car trunks. Just another misunderstanding, Frank. Yeah. Well, it seems like everybody I meet's got a misunderstanding with you, Xavier. And how about this girl? If I talk to her, what's her story? Her old man says you kidnapped her. Or is that just another little misunderstanding? Well, why don't you find out for yourself? Yeah, I'll do that. Where is she? Right down the hallway. Okay. Let's go. Of course. Summer, it's me. There's someone that wants to see you. What do you want? Oh, Summer, please do try to be courteous. After all, we have a guest. Get your big butt in there. He looks like just another thug to me. No, oh, Frank, you, you really must forgive Summer. She's, well, she's rather curt with strangers. Are you Ned's daughter? What do you know about my father? What have you done to him? Well, isn't it obvious, Summer? This is the gentleman that uh, killed your father. You bastard! No! Oh, 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 I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Oh, well done, Summer. Well done. That'll be enough, dear. That'll be enough. Fine. Good night. But he killed my father. Uh, well, actually, uh, no, Summer. Uh, unfortunately, your father's alive and well. But you said... <laughs> I know. I, uh, I lied. <laughs> but, uh, you did a beautiful job, lovey. And I do have the gun, and, well, Mr. Scarbo has a very short time to live. Oh, my God. You didn't kill him. No. Where is he? Yes, Frank. Do tell us where he is. The boys and I are dying to give him our regards. He's in a safe place. The same place I'm taking her when I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Frank, you... You really do have a sense of humor, don't you, when he gets out of here? <laughs> and just how do you propose to leave? Laugh all you want, but there's going to come a time to pay, and I'll be there collecting. Huh. Well, then I... I really do suppose I... I ought to kill you.
Here, Summer. Here, you, you do the honors. That's it, put your finger in the trigger. Now, go on. Go on, kill him. You were ready two a minute ago. Go on! But you said my father's alive. Well, yes, you see. That's why it's important that you kill him, because that will guarantee that your father stays alive. Go on! Don't listen to him, Summer. He doesn't know where your father is. You calling me a liar, Frank? Huh? You calling me a liar? If I say I intend to kill this young lady's father, I intend to do just that. I can't. I can't do it. Just squeeze the trigger. Just squeeze the trigger and your father lives. That's all there is to it. You promise you won't hurt him? Absolutely. I mean, you don't even know this man. Huh? You said yourself he was a cheap thug. Now kill him! All right. Go ahead and kill me if you want to. But don't kid yourself. He will kill your father next. And maybe you too. You know that's not true, huh? Just take out this piece of garbage. Just waste him and your father lives. Is, is he worth your father, huh? Is he worth your father? Kill him! Did I mention I, I forgot to take off the safety? <laughs> but you did admirably, Summer, admirably. I'm very, uh, I'm very proud of your loyalty to me. I pulled the trigger. You have to keep your promise. Don't kill my father, please. Oh, of course, my dear. Your father's fine. Your father's going to live. Now that I know you love me. You psycho. Can't you tell she hates your guts? Oh, no. She loves me. Touching, isn't it? I'd call it nauseating. Well, you never were much of a romantic. Especially when it came to Leslie. <gasps> What's what you say, you bastard? What are you gonna do, big boy, huh? What are you gonna do about it? You don't deserve to live. You know that, you piece of shit? True, but the fact is I have the gun and I'm very much alive. And as I speak, Paolo is preparing some very unpleasant things for you. <laughs> come on, huh? come on. You like how it feels? Come on, you call me an asshole before oh. pushing me around. You like that? Come on, you <laughs> fucked up my hand. No, I gotta fuck up yours, <laughs> asshole. Uh, come on, scream! Uh, oh, Frank! Uh, Frank! Uh, you're enjoying your stay with us. Uh, no complaints, I know. <laughs> I want to memorize your face, Xavier. Every line, every pore. No matter where you hide, I'm gonna find you. And I'm gonna kill you. Oh, Frank, I have no intention of hiding. You see, you see, my problem is, where do I hide you? <laughs> you know, I, I heard this gentleman once. He cut his victim into 50 individual parts, and then he put them all in little boxes and sent them to all the 50 states. <laughs> well, I thought that was mildly amusing. <laughs> Well, I see I've caught you at a bad time. A fellow has you otherwise preoccupied. So, Frank, look up at me. Look, look up at me, asshole. Hey, are you starting to remember where we met before, huh? Uh, let me tell you, 
I was on the road that day. <laughs> Five years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you really are very creative today. <laughs> it's too bad that bullet didn't kill you. But now I'm gonna finish what I started. <laughs> if you want to kill me, just do it. Oh, but we so enjoy your company, Frank. You see, that's the trouble with the world today. Rush, 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 rush. I mean, there's no, there's no time to enjoy the, the simple thing. Gotta get her out of here. No, no, no. Get her out. You can count on it. Take care of her. Summer, I love you, baby. Baby, no. No, no, baby, no. Summer, come on. No, baby, no. Stop and call the police. The only thing that's going to happen is they're going to revoke my parole and throw me back in prison. You're in prison? Stop the car right now! They may be following us. And as I recall, they were shooting at you too. I just got away from one murder. You think I want to be with another one? There's a difference between me and Xavier. I kill if I have to. Xavier kills for money. I want to listen to this! 
and I'm the one that pulled your father from the trunk of a car. Plus, I promised I would get you away from Xavier. Okay, so you've done that, and managed to get my father killed. I told him not to come into that house. I told him to stay back. But he died trying to save you. Listen, can you stay put for five minutes while I get some gas? Do I have a choice? Hey, you're a pretty lady. What's your name, pretty lady? Hey, you want to back off, pal? I'm not talking to you, man. I just asked the lady your name. Summer. Summer? Yeah, I think I like that. I like it too. <laughs> no touching, freak. You got that? You got a bad attitude, man. You know that? Bad attitude. I want a piece of him, Monk. We're not looking for any trouble. So why don't you boys get on those little bikes and pedal on down the road? You know, this ain't right. <laughs> Fine looking lady like you should be riding with us. We'd make you queen, baby. Queen of the road. <laughs> hey, poet. Show Summer a card, man. Goddess. <laughs> you see? It's in the cards. It's destiny. That's bullshit. I've got one for you. The hangman. You're gonna die, man. The cards don't lie. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Fry your ass, huh? Hey, don't do it. Hey, we didn't mean nothing. Just get out of here. Come on! Come on, man. You want me to put this thing away? Just get on the spikes and head on down the road. We're going. Let's go. Come on! We're going.
doing? What does it look like? You want to move those bikes? God, that's been nice, man. This ain't nice. About if I blow your fucking brains out, would that be nice enough for you? If I was you, I'd uh, turn around. I think some people want a word with you. <laughs> Who's the piece of all <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's take him. Come on. Come on. Get on the bike. The devil. <laughs> the answers in the cards. <laughs> hey, if you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> and what do those cards say about you freaks? How are you going to die? We all know how we're going to die, man. We're going to crash and burn. <laughs> Interesting, man.
that shit for Raven. I'm not fighting her. You got to. How else am I gonna know you? <laughs> You're not getting out of this one, bitch. You got a nice face. Too bad about that big bruise. Get in the car, Summer. You beat the hangman. Look who's back from the dead. You know what? I'm through playing games with you. She's coming with me. <laughs> give me that gun. <laughs> we'll give you some. But you got a winner. Now that should be easy for a man who just beat the Grim Reaper. Go. Get him a bike. So, we're playing more games, huh? You ride against Bone. And then, if you're still breathing, she's yours. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Take him, boys! Here you go. <laughs> What's this all about? You'll see. Catch him up, All right. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Mr. Cardona, I have a phone call for you. Well, sometime today, Sergio. Thanks. Raven, is it you? She's here and she's all ready for you. Yeah, well, I want her alive, you know that. There's not a scratch on her. <laughs> but I can't say the same about him. Yeah, well, him I could care less. Thank you. <sighs> what, you got nothing to do?
Deal's a deal, Mark. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mo! Come on! Can't die on me. Very good, Frank. I, uh, I see you haven't lost your killer instinct. Don't tell me they work for you. Good help must be getting hard to find. Why'd you kill my father? I killed your father. What is that what he told you? Really? I saw you. Must be terrible to be kidnapped by a monster like that. It's because of him your father's dead, isn't it? Always trying to kill him, Summer. Your father was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's his fault. You believe me, don't you? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, you. Come on home with me, your own bed, your, your own things. I mean, you like that, wouldn't you? I mean, what's he done but almost got you killed? Stop twisting the truth, Xavier. All you've done is made her a slave. Is that what you want? To live in this maniac's house? No. To live with a man that killed your father? No! Come on, Summer. Come on. Come on. Get out! Get out! Back there? No, they've all split up. I think there's only two of them. Shit! Check the glove compartment. See if Joy kept an extra gun in there. Is this what I think it is? Oh, yeah. Perfect! Xavier would think to look for us. His own house. This isn't Xavier's house. Who lives here? Nobody lives here. This is one of Xavier's little getaways. This place sits empty most of the time. Believe me, this is the last place anyone would think to look for us. Anybody ever tell you you worry too much? Just you. So, do you even have a key? Yeah, this will fit. like nobody's been here for a while. What'd I tell you? Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe you are trying to help me. Well, considering I've saved your life twice today, I'll take that as a compliment. What time is it? 4 a.m. What the hell day is it? Thursday. Hey, how would you like to hit Xavier where it really hurts? <laughs> Love to. Got an idea? Before you came to the house today, I overheard a very interesting conversation. I'm listening. Tomorrow's the opening of Xavier's new club. And 8 o'clock, he's going to be expecting a man carrying a briefcase. Oh, a buyer. How much? $500,000 cash. Whew. So he'll be expecting someone with some merchandise. But what if he meets you instead? 
Hmm. That would be a nice way for Zapier to repay that 500 grand he owes me. I like it. What are you doing? I like you too. I uh, hope everything's all right with the opening of the club tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Mr. Cardona, you're going to be real happy. This club's going to make you a lot of money. Good, good. I, uh, <clears throat> one more thing. Tomorrow at about 8 o'clock, there'll be a gentleman arriving with a rather large briefcase. Now, you make sure he finds his way back to the office, huh? Guess he's going to be carrying a lot of cash in it then, right? <laughs> Sergio, you know, uh, curiosity is a trait I despise. You're not curious, are you? No, no, sir, Mr. Cardona. Not at all. Not no. at all. I thought not. You know, I've been thinking about this little plan of yours for tonight. If either of us go near that club to grab that buyer, they're gonna grab us first. What if somebody else meets him? We can just wait outside. They can go in and get him. And who are you planning to recruit for this little job? The last time I checked, Xavier's goons were not very accommodating. I have a friend who's a dancer. Last time I talked to her, she said she's gonna be working at Xavier's new club. She might help us. What the hell? Ooh, yeah, baby. That's nice. That's real nice. <laughs> you think anything with a pair of tits is nice? Hell, at least she's got a pair of tits. You're too damn skinny. Why don't you go eat something? And look like you? No, thanks. Come on, Daphne. You have a phone call. Hey, I hire you to work, not talk on the phone. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell him. I promise. Hey, how am I doing? You're doing real good. You just keep dancing for me. 
Yeah, this is Daphne. Daphne, it's Summer. Summer, where have you been? There's a rumor that you broke up with Xavier. I'm away from him for good. You should be too. Xavier killed my father. Xavier killed your father? How do you know that? I saw him. Look, Daphne, I need your help. There's something I need you to do. Daphne, we need you out front. Just a minute. Look, I have to go. What does he need me to do? I'll explain. Just listen very carefully. Good crowd tonight, huh? Yeah, well, we still got a little bit of time before our guest is expected. I'll be in my office. As soon as he shows, I'll bring him right back. Make sure you do. So where is he? Right here. You're not with Xavier. What's going on? It's very simple. You're about to give me that briefcase. No! 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 
there's anyone behind us? No, I don't think so. Oh, God. That was almost too easy. Have you checked the case? No, I didn't have any time. Check it. I don't believe this! Oh, God. What's wrong? <laughs> I've never seen this much money in my life! <laughs> Half a million bucks! And we owe it all to Xavier. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, remember. Xavier wants the girl alive. He can have her. Just don't shoot the car up too bad because uh, once we do kill him, the car's mine. All right, look alive. It's showtime. Welcome back, my little pretty. Where's Frank, you murder? Oh, you'll see Frank soon enough. You'll see him soon enough. No! 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 Drive! Drive! Are you a doctor? Yeah, get in there. Where's your office? It's right down here. Have a seat. What the hell is that? Do you want me to help you or not? It'd be better for both of us if you put that gun down. Hold it. You're lucky. Nice work, Doc. Are you all right, Chip? 
I, uh... I really hate keeping you chained up down here. Treating you like... like some sort of animal. But see... You stole my money. Half a million dollars. You stole my money! That's nothing compared to what you took from me! You killed my father and I'll see you die for that. And, uh... Are you going to have your precious Frank kill me, or... You saving me for yourself? That was charming. It was just charming. All right. You listen very carefully to me. You are never getting out of here. Never! And if your boyfriend Frank does kill me, it won't be before I put a bullet in your head. Have a good day, son. Well, now I wonder who that might be. Hello? <laughs> Scarvo. I thought that might be you. Cut the shit, Xavier. I want Summer. <laughs> well, what a coincidence, Frank. It seems that you have something that I want. $500,000. You can have your damn money. But let me tell you something. If you've hurt Summer in any way, I promise you'll never live to spend a dime of it. Summer's my guest, Frank. Well, I dare you in insinuating such a thing. Well, how could I harm her? Sorry if I doubt your good intentions, but maybe I remember how you treated Leslie and how you treated Summer's father. Look, Frank! I'm not in the mood for a history lesson, all right? Now look, if you want to see Summer again, I propose a trade. You'll be at my place in exactly one hour. No way. I'm not coming to that fortress you call a house. Now you listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. You meet me at the old county quarry at six o'clock. Just you and Summer, and you can leave all your shitheads behind, because if I smell a trap, the deal is off. Oh, trap, right. Well, I have no idea what you're suggesting, Frank. I just want my money. But, if I bring Summer, how did I know that you won't trap me, huh? You get what you want and you kill me anyway. I don't know, Xavier. I guess it's the uncertainty in life that makes it interesting, right? Okay, Xavier, I've got what you want. A little dangerous up here, Frank. One of us might get hurt. Where's Summer? You're 10 minutes late, Frank. I was beginning to worry about you. 
I didn't come here to listen to your shit. Where's Summer? He's here, Frank! Don't you trust me? What do you think? I think I want my money! $500,000! Then where's Summer? You want to see the little princess? Is that it? You know it is, asshole. Figure out. You son of a bitch. I told you to come alone. Just a little insurance, Frank! Just wanted to make sure I could trust you! If you hurt her... I couldn't hurt her, Frank! You know that! Frank, I'm scared! It's okay, baby. It'll be over in just a couple of minutes. Frank, if you give him the money, he's still gonna kill you! Shut up! That's it, you bastard. You're dead. You understand that? You're fucking dead! Sergio, he shoots. You kill the bitch. Do it, and I'll kill you both. Is that what you want, Sergio? You want a bullet through that stupid looking head of yours? Let's calm down, Frank! Let's calm down, huh? <laughs> we don't want another misunderstanding here. Understand this, Xavier. I'll calm down when you give me summer. Well then, bring the suitcase over here. Slowly. No way. I get summer first, and then you get the money. Frank! I think you're a very stupid man! I don't give a damn what you think. If she doesn't start walking this way in 10 seconds, I'm going to torch this entire briefcase. <laughs> You're gonna burn half a million dollars? You need some proof? Okay, you've got 10 seconds to turn her loose. 10, nine, bluffing. You're bluffing! Seven, Six, five, four, three. That's my money! You don't torch my money! Two, one. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Okay, shall we continue? I'll kill him. No, Sergio, no! How about you, Xavier? You want to be next? You proved your point, Frank! You proved your point! Okay, let her go, let her walk this way. All right! You just, uh, you start walking around, slowly now. Slowly. Huh? That's it, come on. Come on, baby. Jump! Yeah. All right!
lost the money, but at least we have each other. Did anyone ever tell you you worry too much? I always was a better businessman than him. Ha, 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 ha.